Hey guys, it's your good pal Justin here with Tech Busters. Today's video is going to review a cool tool in your Windows PC called DirectX Diagnostics Tool. It's a great tool, basic troubleshooting tool for uh, your DirectX system, whether it be you're having issues with your monitors or, or video. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so like I said, we're going to review a tool called DirectX Diagnostics Tool. DirectX is a collection of APIs that are used in the Windows environment for multimedia and video game purposes. Um, like I said, it's very, very, very important to video gamers out there or people that are playing videos or, or uh, editing videos on their PC. So the DirectX Diagnostic Tool provides a lot of information about DirectX and lets you perform basic diagnostics tests on the DirectX system. Um, these tests are very high level. They're very, they're like the first stop in the troubleshooting process that you should go to when you're troubleshooting issues on your on your system, especially with DirectX. DirectX and the Diagnostics Tool have been around since Windows 95. So no matter what version of Windows or DirectX you're currently running, um, whether you be on Windows XP, 98, ME, 8, 9, uh, 10, 8.1, what have you. Um, no matter what version you're running of the OS or what version of DirectX you're running, the diagnostics tool will be working. Um, so the first thing you need to do is actually need to open up command prompt or uh, actually just hit the start bar and type start typing. You need to type in DXDIAG and that's going to launch this DirectX diagnostics tool which you're looking at right here in front of the screen. So it's going to list a series of tabs here and we'll go through one by one what these tabs are and what they, what they show. The first tab is the system tab, and this basically lists general information about the system and most importantly what version of the DirectX you're currently running and have installed on your PC. You can also see the BIOS, processor name, how much memory, page file, and like I said, of course, the DirectX version. Um, your next two display uh, tabs are display tabs. You'll have as many display tabs as you have displays on your PC. So I have two monitors, so I have two display tabs. And each one are, are from my two different monitors. I got a 1080p uh, monitor and a, a smaller monitor here that's a little older, but uh, we're still working with it here. But one thing to note on each of these is uh, the notes section down here. This is, says no problems found. If you're troubleshooting some issues on your monitors, the way they're looking or something like that, the problems would show up down there, and uh, you would definitely take note of that. The next four tabs are sound inputs, and the sound tabs are, are basically information about sound hardware, driver, or output devices that are used on your system. And again, note the notes section down here, no problems found. If you're having issues with sound, these are the tabs you want to go to. And lastly, the, uh, the last tab is input tab, and the input tab basically shows basic information about input devices like your mouse or keyboard that are used on your system along with other related devices like uh, USB controllers devices are con uh, connected to and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I think in my opinion the most important aspect of this tool is the ability to save all your information as a text file. Um, that is very important if you're working with uh, you know support personnel or um, application developers or hell if you even want to just brag to your friends about what kind of system you have this is a good way to do it it is save it as a as a text file and you can send that and blast that out to everybody. Um, all right, guys, that's all I've got for the DirectX Diagnostics tool. Like I said, it's a very basic tool for basic troubleshooting. It's the entry level troubleshooting step, really. And uh, when you're troubleshooting issues with DirectX or visuals or audio and all kinds of stuff on your PC, um, be sure you check out our other two latest videos. Um, give us a like on the comments here, or or start typing comments, what have you. We definitely want to hear your input. We've started to get a lot of engagement on the channel, and uh, it's very exciting, actually. So if you guys got ideas on what videos you want to see, what do you want to do, um, definitely put that in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel here and uh, help us out a little bit. All right, take care.